Welcome to another episode of Jumping in the Pot. I'm your host, Marsha. Today we are going to continue where we left off yesterday, where I showed you how to make the green seasoning that I use for the curry oxtail marinade. Now today, in this episode, we are going to make some peas and rice, pigeon peas and rice to go with the curry oxtail. Now, let me show you this step of what I'm going to put in the peas and rice. We're going to use a half of bell pepper, green bell pepper. I already chopped it up. We are going to use a half of onions with scallions that's already chopped up. Of course, this is the green pigeon peas I use a can of pigeon peas, green pigeon peas. I rinse them, and this is the pigeon peas from the can. The seasoning we're going to use is sasson. We're going to use one pack of this sasson. We're going to put it in the peas and rice. And also, we're going to need two cloves, two cloves of garlic. Excuse me, two cloves of garlic. And the next thing, and this is the cup of rice that we are going to use. Now, the first thing we got to do is run some cold water. This is a bowl I have here to put the rice in to wash it. Like I said, you must wash your rice. You must wash the starch out of the rice. You must wash it till the rice becomes clear. the water becomes clear. Until it runs through I am using organic brown long grain rice. We are getting there. The water is almost clear. One more washing and it should be okay. Okay, we turn on the stove to about high in the pot. Now we're going to add about two tablespoons of canola oil to the pot. To the oil, we're going to add the onions and the scallions. And the green peppers. Now 
pork. Then also the garlic. We're going to chop the garlic up. Gonna chop it up, mince it up to a medium chop. See the garlic? We're gonna add it to the oil with the onions, the scallions, and the green pepper. Okay. We're going to get a spoon now. See, we're going to stir this up. Let's cook the onions until it gets soft. about a minute then we're going to move on to the next step strain the rice drain off the water from the rice Our next step is we're going to, okay, I think, uh, just a little bit more time, about 30 seconds more. Okay, we're going to use two cups of water to one cup of rice. <clears throat> this is two cups of water. We're going to pour it into the onions, peppers, and scallion and garlic mixture. Okay, the next step is you get a pack of the sassoon. This is pink Himalayan sea salt. We're going to add a little bit for the rice, for the seasoning of the rice. Not much, because too much sodium is not good for you. But if you like it with more sodium, you can put it. enough for me and I'm going to add a little black pepper black pepper now let's bring this to a boil First, oh yes, we gotta add the pigeon peas. Then we bring it to a boil.
After it becomes to a boil, then we add the rice seed. Bring it to a boil. See, it's beginning to boil now. It's bubbling up in there. That's how you know it's becoming, coming to a boil. So the next step is, we're going to add the rice. This is one cup of rice. This is pigeon peas and the rice that we're going to eat the oxtails with. There you go. So we're going to let this boil some more. Then we turn it down and cover it up. We let it cook for about 25 minutes. Well, it's been over and a half, a little over half an hour cooking the rice and peas. Let's see if it's ready. Let's see. Let's take a look. Yes, it is ready. See? The peas and rice. Pigeon peas and rice. See how loose they are? That's because we washed the starch out of it. Okay. That part is done. The peas and rice is ready. So let's change the rice. Put that over here. And now this is the pot we're going to cook. The oxtail thing. Let's get the oxtails out of the refrigerator. These are the oxtails that was marinating overnight in the green seasoning. Our next step we're going to do, let's make sure. We're going to get some curry powder. Okay. We're going to get some Madras curry. Now, this is what we got to do. We got to put about a tablespoon of canola oil 
into the pot. The next step, what we're going to do, we got to turn it down to medium. We're going to get a tablespoon of curry powder, Madras curry powder. We got to burn it. We got to cook it a bit. So you don't get your stomach get pain in there or anything. This is what you do. Madras curry. See? You take it. Like this. Until it turns a rich brown color. Now, this is the next thing we do. We open the Ziploc bag and we got to put them in the oil to brown them. Put them in the pot. it over a little bit near the pot so I can get the meat. I think they all could fit. This is three pounds of oxtail. Now we disregard, throw this out. We're not gonna use any more of this. Okay. Mix it off, it's home. Okay, you see? Each side, they got to cook maybe about three to four minutes on each side. These are the oxtails. Then we flip them over. And then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, now that it's fried on the opposite side, See? Let's flip them all over again. See? Take it and let it brown on this side. See? Now, the next step, what we're going to do is add some seasonings, onions and scallions to the pot. This was all in the green seasoning. In the marinade, we're putting every, the onions, the Scallions now, the red and the green peppers go into the pot. Well, they all jump in. Now this is for when the meat is almost cooked. I have red skin 
potatoes that I peeled and I have it soaking in water so it doesn't turn brown. In cold water, you soak it in cold water. Now I have about some parsley leaves here that I'm going to cut up and then I'm going to put it in the pot also. Let it jump into the pot also. There's the parsley. Into the pot. Okay. Our next step is we stir everything together. We cover this up for about three minutes. Then we are going to add a cup of beef broth to the pot after that simmer for about three minutes. Okay, it's been simmering, covered up for three minutes. Let's take a look. Mm. Okay, very good, very good. It looks very good. Now, this is our next step. We pour in the beef broth, the cup of beef broth. And we add a cup of water, a cup and a half of water. Maybe a, another half a cup. I think we need about two cups because this has to cook for two hours. Then we add a bay leaf to the pot. Bay leaf jumped in the pot. Now let's see, see? This is the mixture. Let's taste for seasonings. We let this cook for two hours because oxtail take a long time to cook. Taste is good. Let's cover it up. It's at medium heat. And we'll let it cook for two hours. I will see you back in two hours. Well, this has been cooking. The oxtail has been cooking the curry oxtail for over for over two hours. Let's take a look. See? Now the next step the next step is we're going to put the potatoes in. I've already peeled and crewed up the white potatoes. Now this is Marsha's curry oxtail. Everybody makes their curry oxtail or the way they like it. This is the way I like it. So this recipe is Marsha's recipe. I'm cooking it. I'm showing you all how I cook it. Now we let this simmer with the potatoes in it for a good 20 minutes. What we do now is cover it back, the pot back up, and let it cook for about 20 minutes. Well, it has been a little over 20 minutes 
the potatoes has been cooking in the oxtail curried oxtail look at it yes I think it's red I think the curry is ready. See? Okay. The curry is ready. So it's time to try some. Ooh. Let's try some. First of all, let's serve a little rice, a little piece of rice with it. This is the pigeon peas and rice. Now let's try some oxtail. Get a fork and try some. This is the oxtail. This is the peas and rice. Let's try some curry oxtail. Some of Marsha's curry oxtail. Oh, so soft and tender. Let's take a little rice also. Let me blow it because it's hot. Mmm. Mmm. Very delicious. Mmm. It's very tasty. Very delicious. Very tasty. There you have it. Curry oxtail. Let me let you see in the pot. See? Let me move it so you can see. You can take a good look into the pot. See the oxtail? See? Oh yes. And we have to take out the bay leaf. You can't eat that. There you have it. Curry oxtail. curry oxtail, and pigeon peas, and rice. If you like what you saw today, please subscribe, like, and share. I will see you in the next video. Bye.